Just listen to me for a minute. I know you're humbly disappointed about the victims who kept outsmarting the robots by fooling them on purpose, which is why they've been doing a lot of shenanigans too much recently. They're nothing but incompetent new security guards that we hired those people with less money on their bank account in the first place. Indeed they are really without cowering from the robots during midnight. Start making another scheme, Cassie. Fine, but only for 20 minutes, my bird. It was time for today. We're not gonna let them survive from our second company anymore. That's a good final idea, man. I hope the master will not overreact like a child who's not been in since both the fresh fish is no longer going to be working with us for generations of opportunity. Hey, I'll be polite as a civilized older adult if you take it back. And also, I'm avenging and some huge money for their reward. But Cassie, my dear, are you trying to give them away with huge cash? Didn't you realize they're not afraid of robots anymore? They're just defending themselves. You were saying... <coughs> what was that other part you said with your ignorant sentence before we electrocute you too? Sorry to disturb your celebration for a minute. You may not have noticed that we found those two robots sitting in the entrance after we came in to look over this place. Well not this time. They were trying to kill us and then we electrocuted them with our stun gun. And we didn't realize that you folks were still here since 6 a.m. in the morning before we arrived. But it doesn't matter. We saw you folks mangled some other robots by the way. What? Was it something that we said unnecessarily? We're not in sinners, and killing many innocent people including their kids over the past years. That's you too. Activate those two robots including some other robots to kill mode trying to kill us all recently. But we secondly notice that you two have activated those two perverts to love mode and force me and Eve to be their lovers. It's one condition for you two. So give us the money right now before we turn you figures into the police until this place is out of business permanently. Very well, Mr. Monitor Man. One condition is granted. We will give you folks some huge money, since you ladies and gentlemen are gonna expose us so aggressively. The new special reward is for you folks to take a big nap for a day. <laughs> Do the yelling, no bird. Of course, honey. He's all yours. <laughs> and your fleshy groups are supposed to be dead on other nights, while our robots are hearing you fools dreadfully. Well, not yet particularly. Now that Mechanical Inkling is joining our company, we will direct your filthy technology. But no, you good for nothing heroes just started a brand to dismantle our robots instantly, all because of the desperation for money and freedom. Monitor head, you can threaten us all you want. But it doesn't stop us from forcing you brats to stay here until the final midnight is over. Also you need to shut up, 
I should be talking to you because I called you first at the beginning and you asked Mr. We were annoyed that you brats lasted this far and ruined more of our work recently. But we figured that we'll play one last round with you scumbags before you go to the police department. Because sir, while you victims were unconscious, we've increased our security system so you can't escape through the doors and windows. But if you brats manage to survive this final night, we faithfully promise to hand you folks some money before you send us to the police. It's the hardest way until you brats do this the harder way. Do we have a deal? Just for this final night. From now on we're not gonna start another brawl at the end of this midnight. That's good. And by the way one last thing before you ladies and gentlemen start working. The town Mr. Monitor. You're not trying to make this final night worse this time. We allow your folks to use the right button all at once. We do. That's why we will be more excited about you victims will be more horrifying before the end of this midnight. Right. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? I say, Wilbird, that was the best horrifying scream ever. <laughs> yes, finish them. <laughs> That can't be good. I know exactly what he's about to say with his last word. Honey, I swear to God, if he says the yes word, I will angrily throw a temper tantrum for this. I am so done dealing with those plaintive victims. I can't take it and as you realize, I took the Springling lock suit out of that supply closet from that office after we put those unconscious victims since we knocked them out. However, if I wanna be one of those robots that kills many innocent victims on this planet, then I'll pretend to be one since those hardwood vandals dismantle our new robots just like our old robots in the first company were dismantled by the first victims. <laughs> I hope those two couple of uncommunicated fools won't think about looking behind underneath that desk to find their phones after they wake up. Indeed, no bird. They're not gonna realize that we took their phones since they record our resources. <laughs> Day. Our top story today is a recent incident related to the pizza restaurant in Blue's Pizza Pot list. Apparently, a group of night guards have sent the evidence to the police department to show the two murderers named Will Bird and Cassie Antron. They've been brutally murdering the list. AJ, I'm AJ. Are you here to kill me? No, I'm here for the morning shift. Morning shift? It's 6 a.m. I, I lived. I lived! <laughs> yep, yep, you did. By the way, how are you getting so many hours? You're scheduled four more nights this week. What? <laughs> well, that didn't go as planned. You can say that again. Hey, Jay. I'm not in a great mood, so drop the rope and release my murder group. He was just supposed to be scary, but he gets a little carried. How are you getting so many hours? You're scheduled four more nights this week. Yeah. And I would have gotten them too if they hadn't hired you schmucks to do the night shift. Legally let stinky animatronics bite children. I so you're just letting me have the night shift? As long as these guys have someone to stay up all night with. Wow, that was a lot simpler than my plan to make you quit. I feel kind of stupid now. You are kind of stupid. Yeah! Whoa, just kidding. Not really. Wow, weird. Everything turned out okay. Is one of them evil dirt bag with a chainsaw? Why you yeah. Actually, 
You're gonna burn for this. Cool. Looks like I brought the right tool for the job. I'm Freddy Fazburns. That's horrible. Maybe you should go right for them. Job without haunted animatronics or chainsaw maniacs? Sounds boring. Well, I hear Freddy's is opening a sister location if you want to transfer. Uh, I'm getting another call. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Yep, see ya. Bye bye! Hello? Uh, hello? Hello, hello? Oh, hey! I bet this is one call you weren't expecting. How? It's probably obvious now, but, uh, I didn't die in that fire. But when the police found me, they also found some, uh, rather incriminating footage on those security cameras, or what's left of them anyway. But the good news is, they told me I could make one phone call. So, you know, I figured I'd give you one last ring for old time's sake to remind you. There's nowhere you can go that I won't find you. There's no place you can hide that I won't kill you. And I'll think about it every night until I get out of here. And when I'm, I do... Sorry, can I... Can I put you on hold for a minute? What? Did you right, hear no, me? No, don't worry. It's just this really quick. You're going to love yet. the whole music. They can't keep me here. They won't. I'll be back. I'll get you all.